Welcome to Cruise Kibbits, where we give you all the advice that you didn't ask for. So welcome to another episode of Cruise Kibbits, live on location. Bye.
speak to me. I haven't heard anybody else say they experienced no, that. No, we didn't but get I've that. had multiple people. Like, I had that happen right away. When I was at lunch, I had them come up to me trying to sell me the uh, specialty dining. When I said I already have it for the night, they were like, oh, well, here, I can serve you lunch for tomorrow. Wait a minute, let me try lunch, dinner tonight. I don't even know if I'm going to like it yet. Okay. <laughs> like, but that's that's something that I picked up right away, that they are real, like, any opportunity to sell you something else. <laughs> but listen, I will say this. They are sisters to Royal, and Royal is very heavy on selling you on stuff when you first board their ship. Yep. So um, that is some of the things that I did find that were unique. Um, not unique to celebrity, but almost like Royal esque. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I did when I went to my, my first drink, and he didn't, he noticed that I didn't have the drink package. He asked me, you know, he tried to sell me the drink package, and I was like, no, I don't, I know, I don't need it, because I'm not going to drink that much. But that was the only time, well, um, I would say twice, I was um, tried to, uh, well, a server tried to sell me the drink package while purchasing a drink, but that was about it. So. Do you feel like pre-boarding the ship as far as, like, excursion, drink package, dinner packages, finding water, do you feel like that stuff was simple to you? I couldn't find the water and I still did. I've never found the water so I don't know if you were able to pre-purchase it or not. I don't know. I never found it. I, it makes me think like maybe you can. Maybe you just gotta use yes, that six dollar water that's sitting in your room when you get there. I don't know. Yeah. My thought is the same and the only reason why I think that is because as you go around the ship and look at the bars everybody is buying the ships that can water uh -huh. and it's like nobody has water in their camp because everybody didn't work in the bar. Yeah. So people are, I especially like to pre-purchase water for yeah. my camp. Uh, um, so too. I think they know that and I think that's something that they kind of omit because um, even down to soda packages, I never saw soda packages online. I saw plenty of drink, like alcoholic okay. drink pack packages, but I never really saw just like you want soda or juice and stuff like that. They have different levels of deluxe. Yeah, yeah, I did see that. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. And even like that kind of goes back to that upsell thing too. At the buffet, they have a whole area where you can buy beer and, yeah, and beverages right. uh -huh. and stuff. And it's like, I'm not used to seeing that either. But that's another opportunity for them to make a few more dollars yeah, off of you exactly. because, you know, you could go to that machine that's right there and get the regular old lemonade uh -huh. or whatever is in it. But that ice cold Coke is looking real good sitting yeah, in that right. ice exactly. <laughs> on that station. So, I mean, Another opportunity to make some money. Yes. Well, for me, I feel like um, if they wanted me to buy something, they should not have made that fruit punch. So <laughs> yeah, fruit punch is good. Yeah, I had it for the first time yeah. today. Yeah. So, I was like, I've been missing out for three days. I have not had it yet. Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. That is a good fruit punch. That is the best okay, fruit punch I've seen. Okay, I got to try some before I leave. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so we discussed embarkation, we uh -huh. discussed pocket gouging, we discussed, <laughs> we discussed um, drink packages of water. Let's talk about the food. Uh, I feel like food has been hit or miss. Um, at first it was like, okay, this look good, it's a lot of variety, I like the way this buffet look, and then I sat down and I got ready to start eating stuff, and I was like, okay, this don't taste as good as it looks, and I, and I keep hearing, how celebrity has the best food, so I was kind of anticipating that. I don't know if that like jaded me a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't have been so expecting of it, right. but so far it's just been like okay. Um, even the specialty dining, I feel like my my appetizers were not that great. My meal was my entree, but my, my appetizers weren't. And I was like, this is not really specialty dining quality to me. I don't feel like I should have paid for it, but that's my thoughts. I don't, what do you guys think as far as what you tasted so far? You guys know me, so I, I have to go the gluten free route. And you remember the first day, especially coming into the buffet, and I was just, I wanted to cry. Because there were, everything was labeled, and it just seemed like so many options. And well, it is, you know, a lot of options. Because I like the different international foods and flavors the, uh, the Indian food, the Mexican food, the Asian food. So I, I love all of that. Now, it's funny because, I mean, it, 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 for me, it was all good. Now, come to day four, and I'm looking at the same offerings. So, that's it's true. good, <laughs> but it's like the same thing. Now, on this cruise, that's fine because we leave tomorrow. But 
draws you in once you taste it it like she said is kiki said it's hit or miss miss but it's also still cruise ship food it is you're right <laughs> yes but the presentation beautiful yep Yep. That lobster last night. That lobster was the best. <laughs> that lobster was the best food yes, lobster I have yes. ever had. I, I will give them that. And the steak was good too. Uh -huh. yes. The steak was very yes. good. Yes. Yeah. Everything else has just been like hit or miss and just okay. Yeah. That lobster and that steak. Yes. Now, let's talk about accommodations. Okay. How do you guys feel about your cabin?
to say the kids were having an amazing time. Yeah. I don't. I don't feel like yeah. I saw a whole lot even in the activities. There yeah. was more kids, like maybe one thing per right. day. Now they have the kids club. I'm sure they have activities there. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I've stayed as far away. From <laughs> the this whole trip is my first time of being able to. Uh, yes. But um, yeah, I, I just I, I don't I don't know that I could comfortably say bring your kids. Yes. Uh, yes. I totally agree. Well, I enjoyed this live. Yes. Yes. This is so fun. Yes. <laughs> Well, guys, hopefully you get to see more of these type of cruise kippers episodes this year. Yeah, um, but until we, get, we can bring you more, if you guys would head over to Instagram, make sure you follow us. Hit our individual Instagram and YouTube channels, uh, Sick Cruiser, Team Rich Travel, Parkers on the Go. And um, also make sure you subscribe. And, um, if you have any questions about cruising, solo cruising, cruising with allergies, cruising with kids, cruising without kids, anything, call, listen, listen, I ain't gonna say call us because you can have a number. But you can send us an email at cruisekippers at gmail.com. That's cruisekippers is K I B I T Z at gmail.com. And we will see you next episode. Yes. What you think,